Hey, this is I'm your admin, and today I'm going to show you how to create a message box in Visual Studio 2010. First thing you want to do is create a new project. Go up to File, New Project, or click it on the main startup screen. Then once you have that, you can click Windows Application. I'll show you. Windows Form Application. We're going to name it MSGBOX Test and we're going to click OK. OK, after we have this, we're going to expand this a little bit. I'm going to call this down in our properties box um, main, M-A-I-N, and then down here at the bottom where it says text, I'm going to make it message box. OK, you'll see that it changed the text up here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a button over here. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so you guys can see it. Maybe too large. I'm going to change the text to click me. And I'm going to go up here. There's also a font option. I'm going to change the size to, well, it's a big box, so we'll say 20 is fine. You can also change the different fonts by clicking that little button over to the right of it. Uh, we're going to make it bold. Okay. Now we can adjust our form around our button. And another thing, make sure you get in the habit of naming your buttons. Usually I do BTN and then whatever it is, it's click me. Now you'll double click this and it'll create a new private sub button click me that's the name of our button and then it'll create a new event which is click. Now inside of this um, we'll give us some room here to work with. Um, it's always a good good idea to comment. To comment you just hit um, a little apostrophe and then you uh, type in let's see this code will display a message box. Okay, now we're going to just do message. Message box. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked the wrong one. Message box dot show. And then we're going to do brackets. Uh, and then we're going to go our text, our hello, you clicked on the button on the main page. Once you do that, um, that's basically it. Uh, all you have to do is put message box dot show and then put your what you want to display in that message box. Um, after this, if you want, we can do a title by doing another one. Title. Okay? So you would just do comma and then put a title. I just put title just to see. So we're going to run this application up at the top, start debugging. You'll see it pops open with a nice big button. I clicked it. The title's up at the top, and then it says, hello, you clicked on the button on the main page. That was our main um, our main thing, the first thing that we did. I'm sorry. Okay, now we can just close out of that. Um, I'm also going to show you how to exit a form. Well, maybe we'll do that in the next video. That'll be fine. Okay, uh, I will be creating more videos about Visual Basics, or Visual Studios 2010, um, seeing as I've learned quite a bit over the years, and... I'd like to teach all of you guys. So, if you don't know, um, I personally find out that videos are a lot better um, as far as learning. Uh, some people are hands on or visual, and some people have to read. Well, I'm a visual learner, so that's how I learned. And so, I just thought I would create all my videos also. I have a little bit of a cold right now, as you can probably tell, but um, so yeah. We'll see you in the next video.